Internal combustion engines are the most common type of engine found in vehicles today, and they work by burning fuel, such as gasoline or diesel, in a controlled explosion to generate power. There are two main types of internal combustion engines, naturally aspirated engines and turbocharged ones. Naturally aspirated engines are those that rely on atmospheric pressure to provide the necessary oxygen for the fuel to burn. This means that these engines do not have any kind of force induction system, such as a turbocharger or a supercharger, to compress the air entering the engine. Naturally aspirated engines have been the standard for the majority of the automotive history, and they are still used in a wide range of vehicles today. They are known for their simplicity, reliability and good throttle response, as they do not have any lag associated with a turbocharger. However, they are limited in the power output, as they can only burn as much fuel as the available oxygen in the air allows. On the other hand, turbocharged engines are also internal combustion engines, but they use a vehicle called turbocharger to compress the air entering the engine. The turbocharger is driven by the exhaust gases produced by the engine, and it uses this energy to spin the turbine that compresses the incoming air, allowing the engine to burn more fuel and produce more power. Turbocharged engines have been around for over a century, but they have gained widespread popularity in the recent decades due to their ability to increase the power output of the engine without increasing its size and weight. This makes them particularly attractive for the use in smaller vehicles, such as cars and SUVs, where space and fuel efficiency are important considerations. There are several key differences between naturally aspirated engines and turbocharged engines that are worth considering. Power Output One of the main advantages of a turbocharged engine is their ability to produce more power than naturally aspirated engines of the same size. This is because the turbocharger is able to compress the air entering the engine, which increases the oxygen content and allows the engine to burn more fuel. As a result, a turbocharged engine can be smaller and lighter than a naturally aspirated engine, while still producing the same amount of power. This increased power output is especially beneficial for smaller engines, which may struggle to produce the sufficient power for certain driving conditions, such as highway merging or towing. Turbocharged engines also suffer the ability to boost the power output on demand through the use of a wastegate or boost controller, which can be used for performance applications. Throttle response. Naturally aspirated engines tend to have a better throttle response than turbocharged engines, as the latter need of a moment to spool up the turbo before they can produce full power. This can lead to a lag in acceleration, known as turbo lag, which can be frustrating for drivers who are used to the instant power response of a naturally aspirated engine. However, modern turbocharged engines have significantly reduced the slag through the use of technologies such as powerful geometric turbochargers and electric wastegate actuators. These systems allow the turbo to respond more quickly to changes in the engine load, providing a more seamless driving experience. Efficiency Turbocharged engines can be more efficient than naturally aspirated engines as they can operate at a high compression ratio, which allows them to extract more energy from the fuel. This means that the turbocharged engines can achieve better fuel economy, particularly at low to medium RPMs. Turbocharged engines also offer improved efficiency compared to naturally aspirated engines. They can operate at a high compression ratio, which allows them to extract more energy from the fuel and achieve better fuel economy. This is particularly beneficial at a low medium speeds, but the turbocharger is most effective. However, this efficiency advantage disappears at high speeds, as the turbocharger starts to lose its effectiveness as the engine becomes less efficient. In addition, turbocharged engines may consume more fuel during boost periods, when the driver is requesting extra power from the engine. Another advantage of turbocharged engines is their versatility. They can be used in a wide range of vehicles, from small passenger cars to heavy-duty trucks, and they can be tuned to produce different levels of power depending on the application. This allows manufacturers to use the same basic engine design in a variety of vehicles, reducing cost and complexity. However, turbocharged engines do have some disadvantages to consider. 
they require more frequent maintenance than naturally aspirated engines, as the turbocharger and its associated components are subjected to hard stresses and temperatures. This includes regular oil changes and inspections of the turbocharger, as well as the replacement of components such as the turbine and wastegate. Failure to properly maintain a turbocharged engine can lead to costly repairs and reduce performance. In addition, turbocharged engines tend to have a worse throttle response than naturally aspirated engines, due to lag associated with the turbos pulling up. This can be frustrating for drivers who are used to instrument response of naturally aspirated engine and can affect the overall driving experience. Finally, turbocharged engines tend to be more expensive to manufacture than naturally aspirated engines due to the additional components and labor required for the turbocharging system. This can make them less attractive for budget conscious buyers and can also increase the overall cost of ownership due to the high maintenance requirements. In conclusion, both naturally aspirated engines and turbocharged engines have their own unique advantages and disadvantages. Naturally aspirated engines are simple, reliable and have good throttle response, but they are limited in their power output and efficiency. Turbocharged engines offer improved power and efficiency, but they also require more maintenance and have worse throttle response. Ultimately, the choice between a naturally aspirated engine and a turbocharged engine will depend on the specific needs and preferences of the individual buyer. Factors such as cost, fuel efficiency, power output, and maintenance requirements should all be considered when making a decision. At the end of the day, it's your preference. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Goodbye.